Hello there. Well, if you saw my previous video, you'll know that I had some fun yesterday here in my art room with a little earthquake. And unfortunately, the picture I was working out on at the time, I spun the spinner a little too fast and it tipped up on its side and I ended up scraping it because it just, yeah, was a bit messy. Um, I think my nerves were probably a bit on edge, so I wasn't being as careful as I usually am. So I'm going to try doing um, the same sort of pour as I had planned yesterday, which is a spiral picture with colours, paint colours, covered with a uh, piece of paper towel and uh, reverse dip, with a, uh, as a reverse dip. And it's inspired again by Fiona Art, who does the most amazing tutorials. Uh, if I can get it even half as good as what she does, I'll be very happy. And going along with her colour theme, I decided to use what I call the Christmas colours. So instead of white, I've decided to use silver. All my paints are metallic. Metallic green, gold, and metallic crimson. And I'm going to, as I said, Spot, put them, try and do a spiral on the canvas which I have already put down a base coat of Mars Black and then I will use the table napkin to see what I can make so I'll get started now
time for me to order some more lithium iron be um, batteries for my camera I think as they are not lasting the distance and I'm sorry um, some of this video hasn't come through because the battery had died and because I can't actually see the top of my camera because it's above me I don't know until the camera actually turns off that the battery has died anyway this is my result I'm yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm not overjoyed about it. Uh, for a start, the metallic red just completely disappeared into the paint. So that didn't work for me. Uh, so I got out some regular crimson red and put that in. And of course, it's <laughs> to me, it's a little bit like blood splatters. <laughs> I don't know if you'll agree with that. But what fascinates me about this is the little lines that have formed in, in the pattern, sort of spreading outwards as I was doing the spinning. Um, and that, for me, makes this painting different. I'm happy with the other colours. The green is lighter than I expected, but it's showing up. And of course, the gold and silver are both vibrant. So that's it for that little experiment. <laughs> I think I'll be working quite a lot with metallics over the next few months until I can sort out exactly how best they can be used. That's it for me for today. Once again, thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time.